Hi everyone, it's been a while since I've read to you and I have a new novella out. It's called Perils in Fairhope and I'm going to read you chapter one. So here we go. I just got it in the mail yesterday. Chapter one is The Mission. You have to swim for shore, Leonard urged. You're the only one fast enough to make it, he added in a surprisingly supportive tone. Headley shook her head, assuming I can outswim the sharks. How do you expect me to handle the alligators? I have to avoid being eaten long enough to take one of those boats so I can come out here to save you three, she stated, attempting to keep the panic from her voice. 36 hours earlier. Hadley Steele had just finished her shift at Thomas Hospital when she was called into her supervisor's office. What can I do for you, Miss Carter? Hadley questioned, her voice conveying her confusion. Joan Carter smiled. Nurse Steele, I have an exciting assignment for you. The storms that struck last night caused a significant amount of flooding in the areas around Fairhope and Mobile, particularly in Devil's Hole. The Coast Guard is heading in to help with the recovery, and they've requested a doctor and a nurse. So I volunteered you. She passed Hadley a post-it note. Here's the address of where you need to meet your team. They're expecting you to arrive within the next 30 minutes. She finished with a smile. Hadley shook her head. I just finished a shift. Are you sure I'm the best nurse for the job? Joan nodded. Normally, I would agree with you. However, they've enlisted the help of a particularly difficult doctor, and I'm not sure anyone else can handle him. Do you have any other questions? You need to head there before you end up arriving late. I guess not, Hadley replied. She wanted to ask who the doctor was, but decided it would be better to find out later instead of adding to her dread. Hadley had just enough time to race home and gather the essentials before she headed to the location on the sticky note provided by Joan. She smiled to herself as she passed the USS Alabama on her way to her destination. She'd always loved that ship. Once she arrived, Hadley parked and grabbed her bag before walking toward the ship where she was greeted by a tall man in uniform. Hadley Steele, I presume, the man inquired as he looked at the clipboard before him. Hadley nodded, reporting for duty, and you are? The man's lips curled into a grin before he replied, I am Captain Todd Shaw. You'll meet my crew later on, XO Sally Henderson, Lieutenant Carrie Dean, Lieutenant Joseph Brock, and, Lute and Dr. Leonard Kelly. She offered him a weak smile at hearing the doctor's name before she passed him to board the ship where she ran smack into Dr. Kelly. Damn it, girl, Leonard exclaimed, his southern drawl shining in even the simplest of phrases. Why don't you watch where you're going? Hadley shook her head as she backed away from the doc, the legendary doctor. I'm terribly sorry, Dr. Kelly. She offered her hand. I'm Hadley Steele, your nurse for this adventure. She shared, trying to feign confidence around this legend. Leonard Kelly took a step back, crossing his arms as he looked her up and down. How long have you been a nurse, miss? Five years, Hadley replied confidently. I'm aware of your reputation, Dr. Kelly. However, I'm all you have for this mission, so you can work with me willingly or you can fight me every step of the way. It's your choice, she added, ensuring her voice wasn't as shaky as she spoke. Leonard shrugged. Only time will tell, I suppose. Just don't get in my way, he added before he moved her past her. Hadley took a deep breath before she continued on to her quarters so she could get unpacked before, the, before she met the rest of the team. As the ship undocked around 15 minutes later, Hadley moved back to the main level to meet the others and find out what their plan was. Captain Shaw's lips curved into a grin when he noticed Hadley walking up to join them. Crew, let me introduce you to Nurse Hadley Steele. He began as the sun began to set before they would begin their journey through Fly Creek to reach Devil's Hole. Hadley offered a slightly shy wave as Shaw mentioned the names of the rest of the crew. This is my right hand, XO Sally Henderson. I have two lieutenants for this mission, Carrie Dean and Joseph Brock. And I've heard that you already met Dr. Leonard Kelly, he added, as he gestured toward the older, grumpy Southern doctor. Hadley nodded. I did. It's nice to meet the rest of you, she added as she offered her hand to the rest of the crew. Do we have a plan of action? What kind of calls have come in from Devil's Hole, she added, questioning their game plan, which seemed to cause the others to frown. Henderson responded, since the others looked as if they didn't want to. We like to assess the situation once we arrive, but if you are curious... There have been a lot of flooding calls and a few stranger ones, she let her words linger in the air. Stranger ones, Hadley inquired, as she took a beer from Lieutenant Brock. Surprised they were drinking as they began their voyage. What do you mean by that, she asked, further annoying the others. Shaw answered this time. There have been some calls that claim sharks are eating people in the area. We can't confirm that until we get a look, though. No need to worry until we have to, he added as he took a swig from his own beer. 
Hadley glanced at Leonard, noting the way he was looking down, shaking his head. Sharks are not such a crazy idea after a storm. Bull sharks can live in fresh water and salt water. It's reasonable to believe that a storm would cause them to wind up where they don't belong, and in their state of confusion, trouble would arise, she shared, assuming that was common knowledge. I hope I'm wrong, she added, because sharks will make our work that much harder. She tugged at her black scrub top as she thought over the idea of sharks in an enclosed area, confused and hungry. Leonard responded, his voice gruff. She might be right, but let's assume she's not for the sake of this job. If we have to fight off sharks and other confused wildlife, then our job is going to become exponentially harder. And that is something I don't want. He added, sending a wink in Hadley's direction as he raised his beard to initiate cheers among the group. Hadley wasn't sure if she liked the legendary doctor or not. She couldn't tell if he was going to make things harder or easier based on her two interactions with him, along with her knowledge of his reputation. Unfortunately, she'd had a crush on the man for as long as she could remember, so she wasn't sure if she could help her opinion. Sorry. She wasn't sure if she could keep her opinion unbiased. Shaw interrupted her train of thought as he spoke. Hadley, I heard you were an excellent swimmer in high school and college, so you might be our best bet if things get really out of hand. He was only partially joking as he pointed out her bonus skill set. And that starts chapter two, so find out what happens next. So, Carol and Fairhope is out there now if you guys want an ebook and paperback. There's no hardcover because it's not long enough for that. Anyway, talk to y'all in a few days because there's another book coming. Bye!